What we know about chicken coops today and where we came from is two different things. Let my wife explain. I'm from Puebla, Mexico, south of Mexico City. But anyways, the way that I grew up, my, my house is made by sticks, and we cook, we eat together, the chicken and us. Ah, quiero grabar este cutucomalies. <laughs> a picture of his kitchen because I don't have any more. Look at the chickens. And look, this is the way we cook. My mom, my sister, this is the way. Look, at, see? And this is metate, comal. Because when we're cooking, things go on the floor and the chickens are around and everywhere and they eat it. So not a big problem. So when I want chickens here in this country, beautiful country, it's a big deal. And I say, what? What a problem we have here. All right. I, in turn, grew up in South Africa on a farm, but with no chickens. But the people that lived on our farm had some chickens, and they never worried about chicken coops and feeding the chickens like we do here, and didn't have any predators like we do here in, in Pennsylvania. So we built this chicken coop, and we have learned a lot from Carolina, uh, Carolina coops and from other videos in, on YouTube. But there are a lot of things that we would like to show you that we have improved that will make every chicken coop so much better and easier and fun and less maintenance. And that is the point, to be fun, okay? And we're going to show you every issue right now. Let's get started. Chicken litter. That's one of the things we had to improve. And let me show you what we did. This is one thing that I hated because... See, my, my wheelbarrow, they don't go too close, right? So. See, that's it. <clears throat> that's what happens when you don't have a chute. I have my magic thing. She has the funnel, uh -huh. and this is connected via, and that's good, just like that. So, okay. I changed it like six months ago, this one. Yeah. This is very, yeah. very nice. Work for me, very, very easy. Yeah. Very, I'm happy with this, because yeah. I don't have to clean the bottom too after I'm finished Yeah, here. everything yeah. would fall everything in the bottom, nice. and then yeah. it See? was a mess. now it's clean. If you're going to build a chicken coop, this is one of the most important tips I can help you with. You see the plywood on the inside. It's completely, walls are completely plywooded. You see that? Very, very important tip. You can see this chicken coop is completely clean. There's no mess on the walls. It's easy to wipe off if we have to. I even polyurethane the rooster bars. Look, they're very clean. We haven't touched them for six months, but it's easy to wash off, easy to clean. I'm going to show you a video how we did this. All right, so we decided to, to fly with the entire hen house. Polyurethane, first coat. And then we'll sand it and make a second coat. Now this is a floor. We did this floor about two months ago. Because the urethane is very, very glossy. You wipe it clean. Uh, this is polyester fabric. So I've got myself a one inch strip, maybe a little bit wider. I use a turbo poly seal. I paint it on there. That's how you do it. Everywhere I'm gonna do this now. So I'm covering the corner, the bottom here. This in the corner. This is, I use this for roofing. Look at that, beautiful. Look, beautiful. You can see how nice and shiny this is. It's nice and smooth, and the floor much smoother. But the best of it is also we've covered every corner with turbo poly seal, so that no uh, wood mites and cockroaches and anything can get in here, nothing. If the chickens poop on the wall, we can clean it. If the floor gets dirty, we can clean it. Very smooth. Mm -hmm. This is smooth. This is what we want, even in, in the, the where they lay eggs, the, what they call that, the egg 
Anyway, it's a video where we're gonna clean the hen house after six months. We haven't touched it and see how easy it is. Very good. Thank you. Okay. See? See? I think it's six months or maybe more. I want to do something in the better one. Look at my, my thing, how nice it is. Very beautiful, you know? But I love it. I want to show you how easy it is and I never hesitate to do it. I remove the rooster bar to see I can go in. It's easy. And this is very nice. I remember exactly when I changed, but a long, long time. Okay? So. Still here in um, this, in order not to let it go anything inside, look, they're still very, very good. They're looking very nice everywhere. Yeah. Look. And this is, this was just to show you how easy it is to clean the hen house. Very, very essential. And that's it. That's the way we did it. Look, they're very nice and clean. We didn't even wash them. Nothing, you see? Because we put, uh, Poly. we put poly, Polyurethane. Polyurethane. I cannot pronounce the name. Polyurethane. Okay, I don't know. You know, guys. Cause I don't know. I cannot pronounce it, but I know what it is. I buy in Home Depot. <laughs> and cost sixty dollars or seventy, something like that. Okay, I know how much, but I cannot say the name. <laughs> polyurethane. I don't know. It's poly something. <laughs> Having a plywood floor and plywood walls is by far better than the chicken coops with vinyl floors and just rare two by fours on the sides. By far. Just look at this clip and you'll see. It's dusty and it has cobwebs and it, it's not clean. This is by far the best solution. So another tip is where, how to operate this door. Now, you can have it where people, most of people have it flipping up here. Then if it rains, water can get into the hinge area and all that, so this I can seal. But the much better thing is, it's easy when the door folds out this way. Look at this. Okay, look, we have hands. Hands, beautiful. I can move okay. Let and so she mama. can go. Wow, look at this. Thank she you. can take the egg out from underneath the chicken. Look, there's another one. Oh, the broken one. Too. There's another one there. That's a broken one. This is a fake one. Oh, okay. So this is what makes it easy to collect egg. So let me show you the feeder. This is super, super nice. Let me show you the feeder. Come. So I built this feeder out of a scrap wood not long ago. And after many trials of other feeders, this is the best. We haven't touched this, what, two months now, three months yeah. since I've built it. It always has food in it and the chickens come in and they eat. Let me show you a video where I built this and I'm going to show you where I compare it to other feeders I had already. And then you'll see the difference. All right, talking about the feeder. Here's the problem with feeders. I don't like plastic. I've tried them. I had this one first, which was better uh, horizontal. And when it comes out horizontal, it did not flow all the way. Then I changed it to an angle down like this, but it's too low to the ground and it gets full of dirt. Decided to build a new one. I'm using scrap wood that's been lying around. I'm not a carpenter, but I can. Imagine. Oh, 16 inches. Okay. I think it will work. All right. Let's see if it works better. We have a storage on top here is our storage for all the food and there's a pipe through the floor of the storage area a three inch pipe it has a bucket inside
Okay. All right. Get out of here. Let's test the feeder. Huh? I put the whole thing. Yeah, you gotta put the whole thing. Look at that. That is nice. Very, very nice. There are many style of watering systems for chickens. So we started off with a tank and we had cups here coming out of a pipe. And they worked very good. The chickens loved them. But during the winter, we found that they froze and that was no use to the chickens. So we had to change it to nipples. So we changed it to nipples. But then I was observing the chickens, how they like to drink. They didn't really like the nipples as well as a bowl or a bucket where they can drink out of it. The chickens normally would put their beak into the bucket, scoop up some water and throw it down their throat. That's how the chickens like to drink. So we decided to change it to a trough. Let me tell you a little history. As I was changing the water nipples and water cups to a uh, water trough, the water was so smelly, I, I thought there was something wrong. That's why I ended up building a huge water system because the water got so bad. I never cleaned it for seven months or eight months. So after removing the old tank and everything that was filled with filth and dirt, I built a new tank here. And this is what I did. I, I, I did it out of two by fours and plywood. Nice. I used a special sealant. And here's what it looks like, what I did with the sealant. I think everybody has been thinking, how am I gonna put water in a plywood box? And that's the magic. I'm using Sealer Supreme by Bergstrom. This is the hardener or the, the activator, and this is the sealer, and you need to mix it together. But once you've mixed it, you only have about a 20 to 30 minute window to use it. You roll it up like this, and then you squeeze. See, it went through all the way. And then you open this middle section up so you don't have corners, so it has to open all the way up, okay? That's how I mix it. Make sure everything is well mixed and you pour it into a bucket like this. <clears throat> Squeeze this out to get most of the content out there. And that's how you do it. <clears throat> okay, we cut the fleece in half so you don't need the four inch fleece, okay? because you want to put a filter. Yeah. Design of this water harvesting system is to have a pump, is to have a pump in here and also to have a sand filter. There's some sand pebbles in here and then water goes in there and it goes into a sand filter right here. That is the whole thing so we can get clean water on the other side. And you can see the water is very, very clean and a nice watering system. Then we painted the whole uh, system so to match the chicken coop. And after installing this uh, water harvesting system, I then installed a trough for the chickens. And then this trough is connected with a half inch pipe from the tank and it's controlled the level is controlled with a floating valve that runs through the trough and then I have a pump, small pump and filter that then pumps it back into the tank. And this is a constant flow of fresh water into the trough. Very nice for the chickens. I also have a spigot for my wife if she wanted to get some water for the reason. So that is the water harvesting system. It works very good and it will not freeze during the winter and I think it's the best. So the next challenge was to get clean water into this tank. And I tried many gutter systems. I tried a gutter that flips up 
with hinges. I tried another gutter that flips down with hinges and it didn't work as well. It was very clumsy. My wife came with this bright idea to make a gutter out of a half pipe and let me show you what we did. So my wife came up with this idea to cut the pipe in half and so we can rotate it to get all the leaves out of it. So all it is is you rotate it like that and all the leaves and all the leaves are out before it rains. So we have a cleaner water system coming into the tank. Wonderful idea. And all we do is we connect that into the pipe that leads into the tank. And wonderful, wonderful. It's raining right now. Not too hard, but you can see the gutter is collecting rain, water, collecting water, and it's coming in into the filter there. Let me open this up. You can see there. That flows up. Water comes in. Another feature of this chicken coop. I think it's very, very important is to have a storage room right at the chicken coop. And let my wife explain the rest to you. But we built, this is a built-in storage room for the feed. And my wife will explain this to you. Uh -huh. I love this because I don't have to bring anything for anywhere for my house. It, uh, it's over there. So everything I have here, my, I have a, a small chicken. I have this one and I have all the rest of the food collected here and whatever I need, I have everything here, everything here. I love it. And, and also I have a light and that's why I can go in and see, I have everything here. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. I love it. I love it. I, I like everything about it. I, ha I only came, I opened it. I got my, uh -huh. okay. Look. She grabs me one. Me one. And I just opened the door here, and la, voila, la, la. I give it to my chickens. Ooh. See, they're very happy. And then I have another one, black ones here. I put the big ones, they don't let it. So that's why it's very nice to have the storage room right next to where you feed your chickens. It helps a lot, okay? Another nice idea and I think it's almost a must for every chicken coop, is to have electricity. Electricity helps. We come late at night and we check the chickens, or you need the water pump to work, or you need a heater during the winter, or there's so many reasons why you would like to have electricity. And we installed the le electricity for that purpose. One more important thing of a rooster, uh, of, a, of a chicken coop, is to keep your surroundings nice and clean. That you want to come here. It feels nice to come here. You can bring your guests here. This is part of the chicken coop that's fun. And what makes it more fun is the paving. We just installed this paving and my wife, you see that? We installed this paving a few months ago and really what a difference. Yeah. It keeps it nice and clean. Sometimes we sit out here and, and, yeah. and eat watermelon and we get to the chickens because it's so nice. And I love it. This is, this is something that you should do it. You should consider having some paving around. We sit down sometimes here just enjoying the uh -huh. scene. The scene, uh -huh. and, and my chickens and my roosters here. Look at my roosters. Yeah, it's there's, very nice. there's the roosters. Yeah. And really, a chicken coop that we really enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you how I built the trough and the water system, the water system, and the links will be below in the video below, okay? And, and give us a comment. Yeah, give us some thumbs comments up. and thumbs up, all right? Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough of this chicken coop.